All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got a little bit different video today. I've got an armadillo problem, and they are tearing my front yard to pieces. So I bought a few traps, got some bait. We're gonna be setting those up today and seeing if we can get these little suckers. We're not gonna kill them. We're gonna transport them over into another area of, uh, of my subdivision. Cause last night I was going down the street and saw that their mama or daddy uh, got hit by another car. So these are some babies, but man, these baby, baby armadillos can do some serious damage to your front yard. Their burrow is on the other side of my fence and they are going along that fence line and coming out to my front yard and just tearing it up. Uh, I watched them for about 15, 20 minutes yesterday. No care in the world, just sitting there just rooting and just trying to get grubs and worms and all kinds of stuff in my yard. So got some nice worms from Academy and uh, we're gonna set these traps and uh, get them out of here. So stay tuned guys, let's get to it. Let's go get these suckers. I just wanted to kind of go through uh, the trap that I just purchased from uh, Tractor Supply. Uh, this actually, uh, this trap system actually came two in one. So I actually got this smaller trap as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this one because from what I've seen, I've got three armadillos and I need, I want to get rid of three armadillos. I mean, they, one can just wreak havoc on a front yard. Uh, three, I mean, it give them a week or two and they'll just destroy it. So we're gonna be using uh, red worms as bait. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set these up. Man, these guys look juicy. Let's get to it. All right, let's, uh, let's see how this sucker goes. We're going to tear all this stuff off here. And uh, so it looks like we got a pr pressure plate here. It looks like the catch is right there. So how does this work? Okay, 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 okay. So this holds it up while I'm setting it. Set the trap here. So this little mechanism on the side right here hooks into the, uh, the trap door right there. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. And they walk in, let me, okay. So, so let's press that down here. And I think sensitive, it's really sensitive. So set it and just like that. Pretty simple guys, pretty simple. Get this door open, set it, and I'm gonna use this little lever to uh, hold it in place so it doesn't set on me while I'm putting this, putting these worms in here. If you can see it guys, some juicy, juicy red worms. That is like the buffet line for an armadillo. All right, so the big one is set get that one out of the way and I'm gonna set this smaller trap because these armadillos I mean they're I saw them yesterday they're only about this big I mean they're really really small now this trap right here would have a lot of trouble catching their mama but a car took care of that for me last night so I don't really have to worry about the mama I don't know if you guys know much about armadillos but buddy they breed like crazy they breed like crazy so you need to get rid of them or they will tear your yard up. All right, I think this one works about the same way. All right, guys, now I've got two set traps and uh, we're gonna go deploy them. So let's go do that. All right, so I'm gonna set it right there, that one, because they're coming out through there. And then I'm gonna go back and get the other one. And comment below, guys, if y'all have y'all have had the same issues with armadillos, because man, they are a nuisance, nuisance. I mean, they're cool little animals. I, I, believe me, I don't want to kill them. I'm just gonna take them and uh, displace them somewhere else. But yeah, comment below if uh, if you've ran into the same situation, what you've done, how you've handled it. To me, this is kind of the best way to handle it. You know other than killing them, and I don't want to do that. We're gonna set these bad boys out and uh, come back in maybe a couple hours and see if we've got anything in them. So stay tuned, guys. And we've got one of them, we got one of them. So 
I don't know if you can see, but they have been, they have been busy, 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 tearing my yard up. So, if you can see it right here, guys, I got my little guy here. Got my little guy here. He is ready to get out for sure. We're gonna go take him on the golf cart and we're gonna go dump him. So stay tuned, we're gonna get him out in the woods and get him released out from my yard. All right guys, so family wanted to come, so we're uh, heading over here into the, into the brush or in the woods and uh, drop this bad boy off um, as quickly as possible. It's starting to rain on us, so hopefully we can get it done without getting too soaked. That's one down. We tried to get the second one in a bucket, but uh, he, uh, as you can see from the video, he kind of eluded us. Do you want the bucket over here? He's running now. He's gonna go to his home. He's trapped. Oh, you made the wrong turn, buddy. Do it uh, harmlessly, guys. We don't want. We don't want to hurt these guys. We just want to move them. Thanks for watching this short video. Had a lot of fun trying to catch these guys. Uh, we've got one of them. Uh, you saw me almost catch the second one. Uh, it was a debacle, but uh, we got one safely transported out to uh, an area, a wilderness area in our subdivision. I'm gonna work on the next two. Appreciate you guys following along on this journey. So guys, if you liked this video, if you liked seeing me try to catch these uh, armadillos, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button as well. Till next time, we will catch ya. Boom.